Hi guys, so it's the end of October and I just want to show you the melons that have been growing in the deep water aquaponics. So it's the same as deep water hydroponics except for uh, we've been using the water of our aquaponics system. So it's got all those nutrients from the fish and from the fish waste and it's all gone into there. So instead of it recirculating around it just goes into the containers and the roots have gone down and they've used that, that nutrient rich water in order to grow. So you can see that the plants get to the end of the season um, it's starting to dry off now in, in certain parts of it. Looking at the plant itself, you can see how it's sort of died back a little bit. There's still the green growth on there. But more importantly, you can see that the roots are still nice and healthy and plenty of them into the remains of the nutrient rich, rich water there. Um, so lots of roots and it's coming down into the water. So even at the end of the season, uh, we've got fantastic root growth. We've still got some green leaves on there. We've got a couple of melons on here um, that have got towards the end of the season. Um, one of them is not quite uh, developed. Another one which is probably good enough to, to eat. Um, and then down the bottom here, if I just break this one off. Okay, here we go. Okay, so um, this is a you know, full-size melon. And it's ready to eat. We've had a couple off this plant already. So, you know, this is probably gonna be the last one that we eat. We'll try the other two, see if they're uh, ripe enough. But this one certainly looks like it's, it's good enough. So, um, the experiment this year was to see if we could grow melons in the uh, trash cans or the dustbins, if you like. Um, and I think it's, it's been quite a good success. So what we've been able to prove is that by putting the aquaponic water into there, it's, you know, sufficient nutrients to get good growth and to get melons to grow. Um, it's been very straightforward, very easy. We've just put the pot into the top there, the roots have grown into the tank, taken the nutrients, taken the water, uh, given it some support along there, and uh, we've been able to get some, some good quality fruits off here. Uh, from the point of view of the maintenance, it's been really quite straightforward. All we've done is we've, we've put the nutrient-rich aquaponic water into there. Uh, we did have to top it up at one point. It was getting probably about a third, uh, down to a third full in the in the uh, container. So I did want to, to fill it up to about two thirds full because I wanted to make sure that all the roots at the top there that were searching for air still had air available and we weren't going to drown the top roots. Um, so I did put a, a little sort of top up there, but that was probably because in the middle of the summer we did get some quite high temperatures and I think we lost you know, a certain amount of water through evaporation. Had it all been through transpiration into the plant, then I think you know, there would have been enough water in here. But uh, you know, we covered it in a, in a white cover to make sure that you know, we could reduce the heat in there and try and reduce the amount of evaporation loss that we were getting. Uh, but I think there was still, there was still some, certainly some evaporation in, on the hotter days. So you know, had you avoided that, then I think the, you know, the 80 liters in the container would have been sufficient to, to grow the melon. But, uh, you know, very, very little maintenance. Uh, it was, you know, fill up once, come back, um, do a little bit of pruning throughout the season, you know, pick up the melons as they were growing, uh, and then one top up. So as far as that, you know, is concerned, it's probably the simplest way of being able to grow melons uh, in a container. Um, just set it and forget it, quite literally, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this into the kitchen, and I'm gonna chop it open, and I'm gonna see what it's like inside, and hopefully it's nice and ripe and ready to eat. So we've brought the melon back to the kitchen um, and I just want to chop it open, have a look, see what it tastes like. Okay, so literally just cut through here. Let's see how right this is. So there we go, fantastic melon. So it's nice and red, a nice skin around the outside. You see the seeds and it literally is just fantastic. Um, even better still, let's have a, another cut and see if we can taste this. And it's very, it's got quite a hard skin, but then it's very, very soft in the middle. So, just as you'd want a watermelon to be. Okay. So, oh, absolutely delightful. Really soft. Really watery. That's just. Mm. Incredibly sweet, so juicy, and just perfectly ripe. So get out there, put your watermelons into the containers, grow them for the deep water aquaponics, and you'll just have a fantastic melon. Superb. What else can I say? Okay. So if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please put them in the comments box below. And um, 
Yeah. If you enjoy the videos, please subscribe. Thanks very much.